desert's so other, I've like got to get out of New York more and get my chakras a tingle in. I'm in Paradise Valley, Arizona, which was home to one of my idols, Paolo Soleri. And I'm going to visit his bell foundry slash studio slash gallery, Cosanti, and make my very own bell. Cosanti, here I come. Woo! Larry was a visionary, modernist, utopian architect from Italy. He's like an environmentally conscious Walt Disney of the desert. Desert Disney. He was best known for his rad wind chimes and for constructing Arco Santi, which is it's like Logan's Run meets a cult meets the Mona Lisa. I've been to Arco Santi several times, but never to Cosanti, which is where Paolo lived and created and dreamed until the ripe old age of 93. This place is unbelievable. It's like Oscar Niemeyer meets Picasso. I want to just like live here and like hump this column and just inhabit this zone. He is a genius. Hi, I'm Barry. Hi, Jonathan. Well, you're here at the North Apse, which is a prime example of Soleri's earth casting technique. He did all the decorative work on this with his own hand and with just a kitchen knife. Incredible. But he also put to work on a, a smaller scale, decorating the bronze bells that are the bread and butter of our operation here. They're so beautiful. Our foundry's just around the corner. Want to go see how they're made? Um, yes. Let's go. This bell foundry is incredible. It's where they actually pour the bronze bells. They have a pottery studio. It's like something very science fiction-y about this place, but with a real sense of like warmth. If this is what alien life is like, like beam me away, please. So they're taking the crucible uh, out from the propane fired yes. furnace. They've mm -hmm. heated it up to 2200 degrees. You don't want to touch that. No. <laughs> Uh, on a really good week, they can produce a thousand bells. A thousand? Mm hmm. Wow. Although there's an incredibly old process, right. 8,000 years old, people have been heating metal up and pouring it into sand molds. We don't have a lot of technological helpers. They yeah, have to use their backs, I... they have to lift carefully. Good workout. No need to go to the gym. Each bell is made unique by pressing designs into that female part of the mold. Before they pour the bronze. I gotta be honest, I'm like, it's difficult for me to be here and not just like run around stealing everything. You need someone following me the entire time I'm here to make sure I'm not stealing. Bronze. Wow. I'm so stoked to be customizing one of Soleri's bells. As a potter, I've always been like, Pala Soleri, what? I love you. And to sort of collaborate with him, albeit posthumously, is kind of an honor and a thrill. Well, are you ready to get your hands dirty? Always. Jonathan. Linda's gonna help nice you. you. Hi, how are you? Hi. And I'm gonna see you in a little bit. So we're gonna do ceramics together. Okay, I think I can handle that. I th I know you can. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to go ahead and do this? Oh, you, you know what, I'll you? pour it. I'll, yeah. I'll go old school, pouring all slip. All right, all Got right. It. So this is a plaster mold. It's what we call the number 716, the bell. And Paulo designed the shape. And then this is one that's ready to take out if you'd Fab. like to lift it out. Beautiful. And then this is what we call um, a retool. It's just a fine, fine, fine mineral powder. So you just, just powder the whole thing. Like just kind of dust it like that? Mm-hmm. And that's its colorant. Uh-huh. Of course, we stick a little oh, that's hole for the, in the center right, of the thingy. bell. In Paulo's designs, you see a lot of circles. So yes, I'm, I'm a bit of a circle queen myself. Okay, good. So he invented this little tool to make the circle. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So would you like to? I will be honored to do All that. All right. I'm I... so excited. And I'm gonna just use your tool and sure. just try and make it cosantish, but with me. a nod to moi. What an ingenious tool this is. You had a really good technique for getting them little. Oh, the wedge. Will you do those on those? Sure. Oh. Your wedging skills are on fire. You're realizing my vision. Okay. And it's collaborative, which I love. Oh my God, so good. So we're going to fire your bell and we'll put a clapper in it so it rings. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see my bell. You are a delight. Thank you. Thank you. It's so inspiring to be immersed in Palo Solari's world. It recharges me, reinvigorates me. I cannot wait to get back to my studio and just start making stuff. Thank you so much. <laughs> anybody who loves design, anybody who loves craft, needs to make a pilgrimage stat to Cosanti and Arcosanti and just 
bathe in the glory of it all. I feel like Paris Hilton. <laughs>